Yeah, that sucked. That, oh, wow, this looks terrible. Whatever. There's blaring light on my face. You know, this the most light we saw today, okay? Because it was just darkness watching the Yankees get blown out by the Colorado Rockies, who are, uh, let me just check my notes here, are as of this game. <laughs> yes, I want to just double check. 34 games under 500. 34. And they just blew us the hell out. And you know what, this day, the whole day sucked to me, okay? I know that everybody got sentimental, all old-timers. Okay, first of all, old-timers day is not the same as it once was, okay? I I am a sucker. I'm an old-fashioned guy. I like old-timers day when there was a game attached to it. When you had these guys, these guys aren't that old. Come on, have a, be a softball game, all right? It's a thrill seeing those guys put on the pinstripes and hit one more time, all right? It doesn't have to be nine innings. It could be three innings, but come on, just give us something, anything. All right, so that was annoying. And then, you know, I know I should have been nostalgic. And boy, did I feel old seeing the 09 team be honored on Old Timers Day. But I sat there and I thought, this is the last World Series team. The last World Series team is being honored at Old Timers Day. That's not a good thing. That is not something to be proud of, that it's been 15 years since the last Yankee championship. And the way today, today's going, it might be longer than 15. It might be 16. I mean, I don't want to be too nihilistic here, but... So you're just seeing that today. I, I tried to be happy about it, but I was just, I was just, it, it didn't leave me happy. It left me feeling sad. I'm like, God, it's been this long. I mean, it was nice seeing Hideki out there and Jeter and Johnny Damon sloshed out of his mind. I hope he had an Uber to drive him home, but I wasn't really feeling it. And then the game itself. I was talking with Aiden, Aiden Bergeron, who uh, works with us here at uh, Pinstripe Territory. And we both just, and he, and I was complaining about Will Warren. And he said, look, He's a young kid. He was thrown into the fire here. Like, lay off him a little bit. And that's fine. And to be fair, you know, there should be other guys. That there were, you know, two guys in AAA who were hurt. There were two guys in the rotation who were hurt. So he really, he's like the fifth option if, if a guy's down. He's like the fifth option here. So we shouldn't complain about him too much. And he's a young kid. And he's, you know, but, oh man, he's just not ready for this at all. And I feel like leaving him out there is just going to just make it, like, just going to drive his confidence down to the point where if he does come up and he's ready again, he might not be all the way there because he might still have he might just not be confident enough when he comes back up like it, this might just be a confidence killer for him i hope i'm wrong but when you're just out there and you're just giving up run after run like this it's rough it's rough what was his line tonight three innings six earned runs again against the rockies folks this is this is not okay they're not the white Sox, but they're close they are the second worst team in the national league behind the marlins and they are the... I mean, think about it. They, the A's are better than them. So they're the third worst team in baseball. And they just... What is it with the Yankees like having really embarrassing losses to some of the worst teams in baseball? Between between the White Sox, the White Sox score a billion runs against us, and the Rockies. It's just teams have their highlight days of the season. Like when they do the highlight season of the Rockies... Uh, when they do the highlight film of the Rockies season, it's going to be like five minutes of this, of this game. Same thing with the White Sox. That's going to be the whole video. It's just going to be that time we scored what, a dozen on the Yankees, at least. So, I don't know why that is. I don't know why this team does that. But, again, you have Warren out there, and he's not ready. And he just he just had a really bad day. Um, already starting from the first inning, giving up that single to McCann, and then giving up a bunch of runs in the third. And I mean, there were a couple moments. Jazz Chisholm, Chisholm getting an RBI double. Alex Verdugo hitting his first home run since, I believe, the Carter administration. Um, but overall, overshadowed by just a... Terrible, terrible loss. And now puts us in the uncomfortable position of having to win tomorrow in order to win the series against the Rockies. It's not great. But I told you guys, and again, I don't get a lot right. I usually get a lot wrong. Um, I mean, my, my batting average is somewhere along Trent Christians or DJ LeMahieu's. But and Christians actually been playing a little better as a lately, so it's kind of a cheap shot. But yeah, and more DJs. Let's say that. Although, let's hope DJ's okay. And ball hit to his face. Just It's just not that not been his kind of year. He's getting, he's getting hit in the face in batting practice. But uh, just seeing this kind of performance here today, and, and again, it, it, we don't want this. I told you guys that we were going to lose one game. I didn't know when it was going to be. I actually thought it was going to be Friday or Sunday. I did not think it was going to be Saturday. So, of course, I get it right, but not totally. Um, but now it puts us in this position of we, we need Marcus Stroman. It is against Austin Gomber. Stroman has a better ERA, 3.82, compared to Gomber's 4.64. So we should be better off in that position, but... I, I don't like that. I don't like the idea of coming in Sunday and we got to win this game in order to, to win a series against Colorado. That's not great. It's not ideal. It's not what you want, to quote Joe Girardi, who was you know the, the headliner of this Q&A. Also, but why is it that it, 
I have complained about this before. So Old Timers Day is now pretty much a Tribeca Film Festival Q and A, where it's just asking guys questions. Like, like we can get that at like some like what what like the signer events. Like we can have those. We can have Yankee Q and A's in the off season. Like we bring all these guys out here for a Q and A in like in the middle of the season. Like this is Old Timers Day. Like this is what it's become. It's just I, I'm sorry, I don't like it. I'm not used to it, and I'll never like it. Old man yells at cloud. You can accuse me of that, but I'm sorry. I've never been a fan of it, and. I, I know the players might like it, but I don't like it as a fan. Like, give me back old timers game, please. And while we're at it, can you beat the Rockies uh, against the three worst teams in baseball this year? We couldn't sweep them. We couldn't sweep the White Sox. We couldn't sweep the Marlins. We lost the game to them, and we couldn't sweep the Rockies. So that is that is the Yankees for you right there, in a nutshell. Not being able to win every game against the worst teams in baseball. Great job. I know this is a 76 and 54 team, and it's hard to complain. And we are still game up in the American League East. And hopefully that will remain today. I'm looking here. The Orioles are down one nothing on top of the fourth to the Astros. So hopefully we will stay up a game and a half by the end of the day. But it's games like this that makes you wonder. It's games like this that leave you frustrated. It's games like this that really leave you asking questions. Um, but hopefully when Clark Schmidt comes back, and boy do we miss Clark Schmidt, hopefully when he comes back, things will start to get going again. Because maybe you know, Clark was good before he got hurt. So maybe if we can have him back here, send Warren down, bring Clark up, maybe just maybe he had his first rehab start yesterday. Maybe the rotation can start to be better and we don't have to have this glaring weak spot in the, in the rotation. Let's hope so. Let's all pray so. Please. Oh boy. Seeing that today was rough. Uh, that was rough. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to see me. Make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow. It's Yankees and Rockies. It's game three. I will be here breaking it all down for you as we head on to the home stretch of the baseball season. Labor Day is coming up. Fall is upon us. Almost upon us. And the Yankees need to get going in the right direction. And they kind of are, but they kind of aren't. It's games like this you can't lose. Despite the fact that Will Warren's on the, on the mound. Gotta do better than that. Whatever. See you guys tomorrow. Take care and God bless.